So Pat, you've played your first two games for the club against Castleford and Crusaders. Have you found it? Yeah, really enjoyable. Um, I needed the minutes because I've not really played much since um, finishing at Warrington. So needed the minutes. Been training hard throughout pre-season. So yeah, to get a good bit of game time and um, kind of to get to know the lads really and get to know the structures and how different people play. Because I've never played with these lads before and. Um, yeah, it went really well. Enjoyed it. Obviously, we've, we've played three pre-season pre -season games. We've won all three. That must stand us in good stead moving in towards into the season, mustn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think it sends a message out to other teams. And um, for us lads, definitely. Like I know Rochdale was mainly a reserve side, but for them lads who don't get a lot of game time in the first team, it shows it's, they can um, show their skills off to Tim and the first team coaching staff and show what they're made of, really. And um, I know a few lads were not lucky enough, but they played well enough to get given a shot against Cass. The likes of uh, Dougie, Cal O'Neill, Joe Edge. And um, yeah, they're in for a, a great season, um, as well as all of those lads. But yeah, definitely it's putting our structures together as a, a first team combination. And um, yeah, really looking forward to getting the season started now. Obviously, towards the back end of pre-season now, it's obviously a player's nightmare probably pre-season. How have you found it here with us? Yeah, I found it really enjoyable. It's a lot different to um, my pre-season that I did last year. Obviously, got to separate training part-time and working full-time. It's, um, it's a lot different. It's a challenge. I give you that. It's long nights, but it, uh, it gives you motivation to perform better. It gives you a lot of motivation to, obviously, you don't want to be working. Rugby's your dream and you want to be doing that full time. So for me, I want to play as best I can and help witness to get back into a full time, um, full time structure and full time team. So we can go full time and progress as a team and obviously get back into Super League where witness belong, really. Your new signing at the club, mate. How have you found settling in at the club and in and around the boys? How have you found it? Yeah, I found it really easy. And um, the original boys are very welcoming. Um, we have a good laugh together. Um, the coaching staff, a lot of the coaches and staff's new, like Tim and his assistants, they're all new. So I think everyone, uh, it's like a rebuild, really. So everyone's getting to know each other. But at this point, everyone knows each other. We know how we run, we know how we train well together so yeah found it really easy settling in and really enjoying it obviously the head coach tim sheens what's it like to work under him obviously a forward himself back in the day must be brilliant to learn off yeah he's a great coach um the team do his coach australia nrl hull salford i think it's not just a credit to us players but it's a credit to the fans to actually have such a amazing bloke amazing coach to actually be running our team and running our club um, yeah phenomenal he's got so many tricks and ideas up his sleeves and he's um, yeah he's, he's a man of, I'd say he's a man of many words you don't speak to him often but when when he speaks to you, you listen and um, likewise when you speak to him he's open to ideas and yeah he's a he's a brilliant coach and hopefully I can learn a lot from him this season Obviously, you personally, mate, you've had experience <coughs> playing in the Championship. You know how tough this is. That must stand you in good stead coming here for this year. Yeah, definitely. I played for Rochdale and Sheffield last season and um, I know how tough Championship is. And um, you come across players who you played with, played against. And um, it's one of them. It's, it's just throw yourself... You, for some people, you throw yourself in at the deep end. and um, Championship is a bit like sink and swim. You either fight your way out of it or <laughs> you're drowning with a little fish <laughs> no but um, really looking forward to it and uh, like you said I've had experience before so I know kind of what I'm what I'm dealing with and kind of the players that you come up against but it's a challenge and uh, I'm really looking forward to the challenge less than two weeks to go now until the season starts you must be buzzing to play in front of our fans and hopefully forget that you were an ex-Warrington player as well yeah I know uh, yeah yeah <laughs> Forget it or not, but Warrington got me here where I am today. I'm really grateful of that. But yeah, I've, I've experienced the fans, um, the loud and proud, very good. They brought quite a few. I think we brought nearly 600 fans to Rochdale. That was for a pre, our first pre-season friendly. And um, I think that just shows how good the following is. And 
no, I really can't wait. And uh, yeah, loud and proud. Get behind us lads this year and we'll, uh, we'll do you proud.